guys, Crystal Threx, and today I actually wanted to film a haul for you guys. I haven't filmed a haul in a while, and this is basically just an accessories haul. Um, I think that's actually all I'm showing you today. I've received, I've bought a few other things, but I didn't want to include them in this haul because I felt like they were pretty unrelated and just overall useless to show you guys. So I'm just going to be showing you guys the really cheap accessories that I've bought recently and some gifts that I've gotten that are accessories, and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I took off my jacket because... It was starting to annoy me. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with the one non-accessory item. And this is from eBay. And you guys know I have a major addiction to lashes. And I am wearing these lashes right now. Um, these are my normal lashes, but in a different number. They're the same brand, different number. This is number 64. And they look pretty similar. The only difference is they don't taper as much at the ends. And these are made worse, which uh, sounds weird because it's the same exact company, but they're just not made as well. There are stray hairs coming out of some of them that are just way too long to actually be in the lashes, and they fall apart really easily. Like the lash hairs come out really easily. You can see I've already gone through three pairs. Um, each of these is a pair for me, technically speaking, because I cut them in half. So I've already gone through three pairs, and I've only had these for a week. And that's ridiculous for me because they shouldn't fall apart that easy. Um, I don't know what's wrong with this batch, but they definitely aren't as strong as my other ones. I can only really wear these for about two or three days, whereas the other ones I can wear for about three, four, or five days um, because they held together so well and cleaned really well. So that's that. That pack was, I think, maybe $1.69 with free shipping. Really, really cheap. All of these accessories in this haul are super cheap. So... Um, the first piece I have, and I picked up a lot of gold pieces because I don't own a lot of gold jewelry and I wanted to start getting into gold jewelry, so I thought I would just pick some up. All of my purchases came in envelopes that, and I don't think this has my address on it, no, that, um, came in envelopes that look like this that have, like, the description on, of the item on here, and this seems strange, but they do lie on the customs forms, and I don't want to call them out, but they do lie on the customs forms, and I think it's just to make it pass through customs easier. Um, they're not sending me anything illegal, so, yeah, they still do check it, but, um, I definitely didn't pay $8 for this. Um, so... They get sent in all big envelopes like this, and they're normally packaged in some bubble wrap. This huge taped ball of bubble wrap, um, everything was stuffed inside of it. And inside that, they are in these individual little wrappers. That's how every piece came to me. So the first piece I bought was this hand chain, and it has a leaf and a ring hole, of course. And then it has the bracelet, and I'm going to do, like, pictures of all of these on me. I really like this. It's really dainty and pretty and I've gotten a lot of compliments since I started wearing it. My mom even said she likes it and she normally doesn't appreciate my sense in like jewelry or fashion because I have pretty eccentric taste but I think this is really dainty and pretty. I wish I had ordered in silver as well because I like it so much. I might go back and order in silver um, because I like it so much so I think this is really pretty and just very ladylike. And I also picked up, from the same seller, I got a set of three rings, and this was 99 cents. The hand chain was 99 cents as well, by the way. And I got this set of three rings. You can't really see, once again, they're going to be close-ups. But these I got for midi rings, and I've been really into midi rings, but whenever I see them online, it's like $10, $20 for midi ring. And I'm like, basically a midi ring is a smaller ring. Um, it's... Nothing, it's not a special made ring for the upper part of your hand. It's literally a smaller sized ring. Um, so I think it's pretty silly to buy a $22 ring that's in a smaller size. It's, le it's legitimately priced higher because it's a smaller size. That's all it is. And people pay $20 for midi rings and I'm just like, I can't do that. So I bought these for 99 cents and they are adjustable rings. So I just adjusted the cross one because I thought this one would be the prettiest as a midi. I adjusted it to fit the top of my finger and which I had to adjust it a lot because my fingers are really tiny. So I adjusted it to fit right here and I'm sorry that's not good but um I wear them usually all together, and I have a different ring on right now, sorry. But I wear them all together, and I got a cross, a star, 
and a heart. And they're just gold. Um, they are gold, like, covered. They're not real gold or anything like that. They have oxidized, so I have to cover them in nail polish. Remember to stop that, but uh, I like those, and I think they're really dainty and pretty and just sort of the perfect little accessory if I don't want to draw too much attention to my hands. The next piece that I haven't actually worn yet because I'm still trying to figure out how to work it, I got is an ear cuff, and this is a skull ear cuff. It has just a gold skull, 3D skull on the front of it, and something just fell. And it's just literally like a wrapped piece of metal. This was 99 cents, and it actually does stay on pretty well. Um, people are like, how do you get it to stick on? You literally just slide it on the more fatty part of your ear so it will stay on um but i haven't actually worn this yet i have tried it on though and it's not adjustable but i'm pretty sure it'll fit just about everybody's ear if you want to order it so yeah you slide it on and it does start to hurt actually which is something you would probably have to be careful about but you can see it there so, I think it's cool. I think it's just, like, tiny. It's not really that noticeable, but I like it. So, yeah. And that's, I think that's all from that seller. Maybe not. I think I got these from the same seller. Um, I got these really long cross earrings. I've been wanting earrings like this for a while now. Um, I watched Beauty Crush, Sammy, and I think her name is Sammy, Samantha. And she has these really long cross earrings. And I just love the way they look. Um... I think they look really awesome, and I bought these. These are very, very, very cheap. They're very light. Uh, they don't really have a lot of substance to them, and they don't move around as like, they don't move like I want them to move. But they're still very cute. Um, I just think they're a really cool accessory to have. So I bought these in silver because I do wear silver more often. So I thought I would just buy those in silver. So that's all I got from that seller. Um, each of those pieces was ninety nine cents, and like I said, they came in that envelope. And the server, the um, seller, actually sent me like this little message with my thing in English. Uh, not the best English, but English. And it was very nice. I'm um, just saying that they were thanking me for my purchase and they wanted an eBay reading, which is normal. So yeah, um, not an eBay purchase real quick, just off the off another tangent. I got this rose gold ring and this I got for Valentine's Day, which was a while ago, but I never, I don't think I ever showed it to you guys. And my mom actually bought this for me. I like it because um, this is the first rose gold rose of gold piece that I own since my watch which I really like so I was really happy to get that from a separate seller I bought these um, collar tips now I would really appreciate somebody telling me how to put on collar tips because I haven't been able to wear these yet because I don't know how to put them on I'm doing something wrong um, but these are really pretty da dainty collar tips they have a three cut on I'm saying dainty a lot that's how I feel about these pieces so they have like a three cutout thing and they're just shaped really cool. I think they're really cool. Um, the backs look like this. So if you know how to work collar tips, please let me know because I don't. And I haven't been able to wear them because of that. So the last accessory from eBay, it came in another one of these containers. And this actually says clothes and that the value of the clothes inside the box were $8. False. So, once again, if you get an envelope and it looks like it's not labeled right, don't think that it's not yours. Open it up. It's probably yours. Um, this seller actually gave me this in a styrofoam box with some tape wrapped around it, um, which I like. It kept it secure. So, uh, if you're afraid that your item is going to get broken, probably not. They usually send it pretty secure so that you don't have complaints and you give them a good rating. Um... So I actually ordered some sunglasses off of eBay. I've been wanting sunglasses that are shaped like this for a while, and I actually have a plan for these sunglasses, which I haven't done yet, but I am filming a video um, once the second piece gets here. So I do have a plan for these, but I like them plain as well. And they have 400 UV protection uh, against UVA and UVB rays, so they are, like, legit uh, approved sunglasses. Anyways, they came in this bag, and I am totally in love with these. I love them. I love how huge they are. I think they are just really awesome looking, and I can't wait to show you guys what I'm going to do with them. And I'm just going to close up this box real quick. Um, they look like this. 
And they look pretty plain. I like my sunglasses plain. I don't like a lot of design on my sunglasses. But they're humongous. They're these huge round frames with almost a straight top. And the sides are pretty cool. They have like silver arrows on them. Which I actually don't. Not a big fan of the silver arrows. Um, but I don't mind them. They're not a big deal for me. I already have another pair of sunglasses, but these were only $2, and I just think they're perfect. I think they're really cool, and they may look huge and, like, cover half my face, but I think they're really cute. Very sort of retro-looking, so I really, really like those. I'm really glad I bought these, and I actually sort of want another pair, but I'll have to wait on that. The last recent accessory that I've gotten is this gold and brown Infinity sort of handmade bracelet. Um, it's one of those bracelets that the beads, like... You pull on the beads and it gets tighter, like that. My sister actually picked this up for me from when she went on spring break. She just got this off one of those boardwalk shops. And she knew I loved infinity signs and um, she knew I wanted gold jewelry. So she got me the gold diamond uh, infinity sign with the brown chain. I really like this. I think it's really cute. I often wear it with the hand chain. And the rings on this hand and the hand chain and the infinity bracelet on this hand. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen my jewelry shot of that. So I really, really like those. That is it for my accessories haul. I really get, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was probably really short and random but I did want to show you guys the great deals that you can find on eBay and other places. And a lot of people are very hesitant to order off of eBay, especially like China and things like that, because they think that it's a scam. It's not normally a scam. You do need to check the seller's ratings, and I will list all the sellers below. There is one seller that I don't really recommend, and that's the seller that I'm still waiting on an item from. And I'm quite disappointed. Um... Technically, the error, the margin of when it's supposed to arrive has not passed yet, but everything else arrived in a really timely manner, and theirs has been a about two or three weeks, which is fine for coming from China, but I still think it's pretty crappy. Um, it shouldn't take the maximum time. So anyways, I will list all the sellers that I highly recommend below. I do usually stick with the same sellers because I've had good business with them before and they're just very good. So don't always think that they're a scam. Um, 99 cent jewelry on eBay is not always a scam. It's actually usually pretty nice. Um, this was, everything that I showed you today was 99 cents except for the sunglasses which were about $2. And uh, if you guys have any questions about shopping on eBay, any questions about sellers or buying jewelry from overseas let me know and I will get back to you and I hope you guys enjoyed this video comment subscribe send in your requests and I will see you guys later